Guys, at Beat the Creek this year, I picked up this right here from Deluxe Fab. This is the Mercenary. They're really awesome MOA. Um, I've got these tires put on this thing because I really want to give it a drive. I'm going to show this to you on the table and see if I can drive with two hands. <laughs> Let's get to the table. And this is it right here. Now, the tires are big 2.2 ruptures. Um, that's all I had that could really fit. I'm still running like the rupture foams, so not the best combination for this, but I really want to give this thing a drive. Now, the Mercenary chassis, pretty darn awesome. We got brass right here underneath it. You can see the Fusion Pros at both ends. Uh, got a Reefs Raw 800 LP right here, so it doesn't hang down below. Um, yeah, now this came with the loaded dice, the piece that, that go there and actually get down, but I've got those pro I've got the proper wheels and tires and all that stuff ordered for it, but they're not here yet, and I'm about to leave for ECC. So I really want to give this thing a drive. Now, the rating I'm using for it is the RC8X. And I've got this set up to where I can do... Four-wheel drive, drive. Four drive. I can, like, dig it from there. I can adjust the overdrive ratio right here in 20% increments. Now, I've got something right here. I'm not sure what that one does yet. But if I click this button right here, it goes into... Front-wheel drive. And that locks the rear of it up. If I push this button right here, it goes back into four-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive, both front and rear. Drive. Oh, yeah, so we have all of that. So pretty much it's ready to go. And let's see if I can drive with two hands. Okay, pushing the DT1 button. You got this right here. Then you push this button. You get your overdrive. Push it again. It goes even more, right? Now I can push this button down here. And that is pretty much dig. I push the button up top, which is the uh, PS5 button. Now you're back into four-wheel drive. I can push this like this right here, backwards, and get a nice burnout if I want. So I got that. And pretty much that is kind of it. This is going to be a huge learning curve for me. Hopefully I can get this stuff figured out because there we go. Now, when you push one button, it's not mixed to just work with everything else. It's kind of weird, but this radio right here is fully loaded and let's go hit the rocks. So everything is wet, uh, not the proper wheels and tires for this thing. I've got the 20% uh, overdrive on right here. I'm gonna bump it again. Now it's like 40%. See, it's actually holding it back. So I get the proper wheels and tires for this thing. I think it's gonna be pretty darn awesome here. And then when I learn how to drive the thing. Can't wait to get the loaded dice back on the front, all that stuff. I think it's gonna be phenomenal. Now, I don't know that I'm going to have the traction yet to actually get this, but I don't know. The, uh, the foams are not really what they should be for this thing, at least at this point in time. And I've got new tires ordered everything. And I don't want to roll it over on my first run here. I'm gonna go a little bit more overdrive. Let that front make a little bit more of a pull. Back to the 20%. Oh, oh, I hit the wrong button. But uh, it got it pretty good, even with me messing up. So weird driving with two hands. 20%. I like being able to shift my overdrive like that. See if we can make this pull. Now this is wider than the scale truck, so there it was. Nice. 
Yeah, I, I get the loaded dice in this thing. It's gonna it's gonna make it way even better. Plus, I've got their tires coming, all that stuff. So. <laughs> this is going to take some learning. Well, let's see what I can do with cliffhanger. I'm surprised it's doing so well with all the rocks being wet. I probably shouldn't be surprised though. This thing is wide. See if we can make. I went a little bit too much on the overdrive there. Looks like it's just going to push right off the edge. I'm going to try to dig up. It's not going to get the four. It's not going to get the dig up on it. <laughs> gonna get it though I didn't one shot it but there's always next time okay let's try hook it now hook it was named hook it because it requires some dig action so like right there there's my dig There it was right there. There it was. Okay, twin ridges. I've got to learn how to work all my over and under drives and all that stuff. I was about to say, it's never been made at this particular angle before. Because when you get on your skid right there, it's over and done. And I think that's what we're going to be right here. We'll try that again. Because I typically got to go this side over here. Make the pull up on that. The four wheel drive front right front all right oh there we go oh I got pinched pretty bad <laughs> Yeah, I got pinched pretty bad on a couple of spots there. I feel like I should be able to just go straight up this thing. Okay, I made it. Took a little bit of work though. I know you guys are probably really wanting to see Crack of Doom, huh? Let's see what we can do with Crack of Doom here. Hopefully I don't roll it over. Adding some overdrive to it. Looks like it's gonna make the pull. All right, nice. Okay, looks like we're going to make the pull going up into that. Looking good. Let the back end come on around a little bit more drive there. Bring this over. 
Now we get to go get into the gap of death over here. Let that front end pull pretty hard, get the good hook. Well, that was not even an issue. <laughs> Fall time should be a piece of cake, right? Yeah. I get right here. Some good overdrive on the front. All right, I made that. I got a feeling that back is going to flip it over. I'm going to be ready to catch it though. Man, I bet you if it had the loaded dice in there, it would make this. I do want to see how fast this thing is. That's pretty good. All right. <laughs> thing is awesome. Yeah, I extended that. Four words. This thing is awesome. Yeah, I want to add like a fifth word to it as well, but um, it's that awesome. So I do not have the loaded dice, which is the weights. I don't have the proper wheels and tires to really make this thing perform, but it pretty much took out everything I had. Um, Crowley, went right up Crowley. I even had a blip on my throttle. I kind of bumped it, it stuck, and I still made the climb. The only thing that gave it a fit was twin ridges. Everything else, it pretty much just walked it. But uh, I get these things set up, all that. It's gonna be awesome. Now, going up fall time like that doing like that was the first time i've ever done it that i can remember so when i get everything balanced out correctly on this it's probably going to walk right up that which is amazing but guys hopefully you enjoyed the video um this deluxe chassis all this stuff it, it, it's awesome it really is i gotta get used to the radio got a little bit of work to do I was getting a little bit better with it, a little bit more uh, comfortable with the buttons where they're at. I may make some adjustments to how much things move, but other than that, uh, this thing's awesome. Guys, check that description. I'll link up what I can down below. Deluxe Fab, all that stuff. Use those links, hit that subscribe, ring that bell, and you know what? This thing is awesome, but you're more awesome. Catch you later, guys. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also, for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.